Hello, I'm Rob Hirschfeld. I'm a principal architect at Dell and the lead architect for our Dell OpenStack Cloud solution. And I want to talk to you a little bit about something that we're calling the operations model for cloud. And it's a really significant thing and it's different than, than the way we've brought other cloud solutions to market. Uh, and it's something that we're really highlighting with what we've done with OpenStack. So what we've discovered with OpenStack and our other cloud solutions, and, and in, in, my, in my group, we're in the, the Hyperscale Cloud Group, and we've been working to bring a couple of different cloud solutions to market, and we find they all have a big operational component. As a matter of fact, what we found was that we had our hardware component for the solution, we would have a software component for the solution, and then there was a significant operations capability that somebody wanting to deploy, a customer wanting to deploy a cloud solution needed to understand. They had to be able to operate their data center, they had to deal with you know, DNS and DHCP and NTP and imaging and monitoring and performance management, security. All those components are really separate from the solution software, so in this case OpenStack. It has those pieces and they're starting to come in, but you have to bring them all together. You have to have an operational model that says, I'm going to be able to bring all those pieces together. The hardware pieces, the software itself, but then what, how you're actually operating it. And then, importantly, you also have to be able to deal with the fact that the software is changing, that it's in constant migration, that when you get into a hyperscale environment with thousands of nodes, you're actually doing a continuous deployment. You're rolling out versions and patches and your system is always changing. So we found this need for a solution that expected change, where change was an expected underlying piece, really a continuous integration type environment or a DevOps environment, really needed to be applied into the cloud infrastructure. And, and we call that the, the DevOps, or the, sorry, the, we call that the operational model. And we found that it's very important for us to be able to articulate to our customers. We're I'm, I'm authoring a white paper about that right now, and this is sort of a preview of that. Uh, and then we've also found that it's important to embody in software and tool sets. So part of what we're adding and contributing into the open store, the OpenStack community is, uh, is software that helps actually encode that operations model and make it part of a software component. So we're really taking this ops model and we're encoding a significant amount of it into software practices. So it's highly repeatable, very automated, and allows you to say, I want my, my data center to operate in this way. You describe it as scripts and software and configuration management, and then the system will help manage and maintain that environment. It, we found that that's essential to get started right at the beginning. And, and our OpenStack solution includes that capacity. So what we do is we don't want you to start just with disks and installs and hand configurations. We actually start you with a complete automated environment. That's, that's a subject for another video. Uh, it's something called Crowbar, but it's, it actually implements this model. And what we found is that it's very important to do this, that in this operations model, we can incorporate best practices, like having monitoring and performance management and security right into the deployment scripts and how the system is maintained and operated on a daily basis. That we can take those best practices, we can make sure that they're automated, that there's conformance for it, we can make sure that uh, your system, your cloud, can adapt to change right from the very start. Because we found that even in a lab environment, you're constantly turning it over, you're working with it, you're making sure that it, it fits your system. And Dell Services can help you with that. Uh, it's one of the things that we've been working with our services team to make sure they have the expertise. So a lot of what Dell is going to bring is we've got hardware that, you know, we have the, the PowerEdge C line that's really tuned to hyperscale environments. We've got OpenStack software as part of the solution, and we've taken our expertise in dealing with OpenStack, and we were there at the very beginning in this community, and we've in worked with other partners to build community-based scripts that actually implement and maintain the system. So right from the very start, right as you're unboxing those servers, you're going to begin implementing best practices, not just in the hardware architecture, but in the software deployment, in the management, and the operations of the system. And we find that to be a very specific advantage. If you want more information about how we do this, please go to dell.com slash OpenStack, and you can download white papers and start getting involved in the tool sets. Uh, if you look under Crowbar, that's the, the open source community version of the product that, that we're bringing to market that embodies these operation capabilities. Uh, we're looking forward to working with you and helping you participate in the community. Thanks.